Hello, YouTubers. This is John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel, where I'm about to review another food product and tell you what I think. This one is another one of the things that I've seen advertised on my social media. You know how I like to do. Uh, if I see something, usually initially, uh, I won't react unless it's something I really, really want anyway. But uh, I'll usually wait until I see it pop up a few times think about it would it be appropriate for the channel is it something that I think I might like those kind of things pop in my head and I check out the prices see if it's a uh, reasonable and maybe it's something I could actually use well today I'm going to be doing a product that I have been getting targeted ads for on my social media and that is this moolala baked cheese this is from Wisconsin um, this is distributed by a company called cheeses of Wisconsin LLC in Madison Wisconsin and what these are this package is empty because I had just cooked this up uh, but this is what they look like when they have the cheese still in it it's a little um, vacuum sealed plastic package of like a three by six and maybe like a, a half inch thick chunk of baked Wisconsin cheese and it comes in five varieties <clears throat> I've already actually tried one I tried the uh, original one almost like the data that came in um, just because I, I was curious and I really needed a snack that day for me and my family to share like during the day uh, and it was before our groceries had come in that day so conveniently had it and it was a, a nice treat that we all shared but uh, that was the original that was regular flavor it was just regular cheese today I'm going to be reviewing this one roasted garlic the other flavors that it comes in other than regular and roasted garlic are pizza party and this one has dried tomato flakes basil and oregano as the flavors hoppin jalapeno and the flavors added to this one is jalapeno peppers and bacon bacon this one has the most ingredients out of all of them um, bacon water salt sugar sodium nitrite sodium nitrite here comes the street cleaner Smoke flavoring, dextrose, brown sugar, sodium phosphate, sodium erythabate, sodium ascorbate, potassium chloride flavoring, salt and enzymes. The one I'm trying, garlic, is just milk, salt, garlic, enzymes. So for the most part, they're all very limited in their ingredients, except for the bacon one. And on the back, it does say that you can do this, cook it three ways, grill, skillet, or micro, which I'm assuming is a short microwave. The original one I did in the skillet, and that was five to seven minutes, and I basically flipped it every 30 seconds because it says to flip it occasionally. Um, but the, this one that I'm doing today I actually did in the microwave just so I can tell you what I think about both methods. That was two to three minutes. I did this at two minutes because after two minutes it kind of looked like it was about to turn into a pile of uh, gloopy mess but again every 30 seconds I flipped it and that's like the last 30 seconds when I flipped it it almost looked like it was going to come apart so that's why I stopped it at 2 minutes instead of going for the full 3 um, so let's go ahead and try it out you're going to see that there's already some chunks taken off of this that's because I gave it uh, to my wife to try as well and all she said was yum, so I'm assuming she likes it. She liked the original one too. The big difference uh, that I can tell you initially without even tasting it between doing it in a skillet and doing it in the microwave, the skillet kind of like it kept its shape better. Um, it got more color on the top and the bottom. And uh, overall, I liked it. The microwave one you can see the oils coming out of it a little bit more um, to the top whereas like in the pan there was oils but it kind of like 
settled on the bottom of the pan. This one's like coming up and it's just sitting on top. The pieces, uh, they kind of look in the microwave one like they're kind of just like melting more. But this is a, a cheese that doesn't really melt uh, unless you put it under high heat for a long time. Um, it's already baked. I'm going to mute my computer. So I said just stop bothering me. Um, the skillet one added more color to it. Since it's baked, it already comes with some color on the top and the bottom. When you put it in the skillet, it increases that. You get more color to it, whereas in the microwave, you don't get that. Anyway, let's go ahead and taste it. This one should taste like garlic. I don't know if you can hear this. I'm going to block my mouth so you don't see this. Do you hear the squeaks? It's got that, that fresh, almost like cheese curd-like squeaky mm. it's got a really good fresh cheesy flavor along with like that Maillard reaction you get from the baked edges I already I tried the I tried like a side piece I tried a corner piece I cut this by the way um, and then I'm gonna try a middle piece because each piece has one crispy edge or two crispy edges or if you get a middle one it doesn't have any crispy edges so I wanted to get each kind of experience there um, the edges really hold together well they stay a little bit crunchy Here's the middle one, you see, no crisper on the edges, just some color on the top and bottom. By the way, the garlic flavor in this is amazing. Super squeaky. It almost feels like I'm chewing on a squeegee and it's just like squeegee squeegeeing the insides of my teeth. I can tell you that the amount of like squeakiness is increased when you microwave it over when you put it in the skillet. When you microwave it, like I said, like the oil it almost seems like it's coming up and it stays in there when I was doing a skillet it kind of came down and pooled into the bottom of the skillet so a lot of that fat and oil is actually staying in it more I think when you microwave it as opposed to when you put it in the skillet uh, there was a third one I don't know if I mentioned that grill I think for one of the other ones I'm going to try to grill it um, it's not gonna be part of any video or review but it's just a personal thing for me that I want to try it every way that they they suggest but I'll have to wait for an occasion when we got the grill going. I'm not gonna set up charcoals and everything just to grill a little piece of cheese there. Um, but this is really good. Um, I believe if you just Google Moolala, is it Moolala or Moolala? I'm surprised it doesn't have the URL on the package itself. I'm assuming if you Google Moolala, Wisconsin cheese, you'll find it. They ship. Um, it wasn't very expensive. I forget how much it was off the top of my head, but when I got all five of them, you get like a discount for getting more or less, uh, more um, product. And I forget how much shipping was, but if I remember correctly, it wasn't very much. I was very satisfied with the amount of product I was getting for the price I was paying. Anyway, this is really good. I liked it in the skillet. I like it in the microwave. It kind of gives you a different um, experience. 
a skillet. I wouldn't say it's dry, but it's drier because like the, the oil's out of it more. So you get more of a firm cheese. You microwave it, it's very squeaky. A lot of the oil and liquid stay in there. You're getting a more moist cheese. And uh, from the flavor of the original to the flavor of the garlic one here, very impressive. Um, has the right amount of salt for cheese. And the, the garlic in this one, it's almost like if you made garlic bread, but instead of bread, it was cheese. I could see, I could see uh, putting this on a tortilla with some meat and some veggies and doing like a kind of a take on a quesadilla or just have this out sliced up as like an appetizer during a party or a, uh, a meal with a few friends. It's really tasty. I like it. If you're going to do it for like a presentation, I don't suggest you do the microwave version because it kind of looks um, the least appetizing. Um, but like if you're having a party where you already have the grill out, that's probably a really good option. I like this product. I would uh, recommend it. Um, you can't go wrong with just a big slap of cheese, right? Uh, this Moolala cheese product, after tasting two out of the five, I can say, I like it. I'm looking forward to the other three. I'm going to give it a 8.9 out of 10. And that's it for this review. Hopefully you liked it. Let me know if you've tried this or if it's inspired you to look for it and try it yourself. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up the video. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.